So since becoming a full-time road cycling merchant, I feel like I don't get out on my gravel bike enough, which is a shame because I really enjoy it when I do get out on it. So today we've got ourselves a fairly mediocre, it's kind of summer's day in the UK. It's pretty cold, the sun's out, it's quite wet on the foot, but we're gonna get out on the gravel bike today. And before we do, we're gonna pimp it out. See, there's two main reasons why I've become such a road cycling merchant. Reason number one, the road bike is just infinitely better than my gravel bike. Don't get me wrong, I love this bike to bits. This is the first bike that got me properly into cycling. Compared to my carbon road bike, this just feels like a bit of a slug. And the second reason is road cycling is just a little more accessible for me. I don't live in proximity to any decent gravel trails, so I just tend to find myself going out on the road bike. And whilst I don't have a solution to solve number two, unless I move house, I can't afford that, I do have a solution to solve number one. Carbon wheels. Now, here we have a set of carbon road wheels. I used to have these on my gravel bike before I got the actual dedicated road bike, and I really, really liked them. However, they have been sat and gathering dust in my cupboard since I got that road bike. But today, I'm gonna try and stick them on my gravel bike. At the minute, they are rocking the 30mm Schwalbe Pro 1 tyres. However, I am going to try and get the 45mm Pirelli Cinturato gravels on them. Don't know if they'll fit, but I'm going to take them to a bike shop and get them set up tubeless just to see if they'll actually work. And I would rather have a professional do it than myself because I don't want to do a botch it job myself and have my tyres come flying off when I'm descending down a gravel path. Now, it goes without saying, don't try this at home. These are carbon road wheels designed specifically for the road and not gravel. But I personally don't know the difference between carbon road wheels and carbon gravel wheels. I assume it's the compound that they're made of. Maybe the carbon gravel ones are a little more sturdy. Who knows? But I'm going to go and speak to the guy at the bike shop, see what he says. Go from there. Also, quick hub check on these because they are outrageous. Right, we've dropped off the wheels and tyres at the bike shop. The bloke is going to pull off the old switcheroo, get them gravel tyres onto the road wheels. Don't know if it's going to be today, it might be tomorrow. So in the meantime, I've come down to a local cycling circuit that I've not been to before with the road bike, just to have a few laps of it. I don't know what it's going to be like. I assume it's some kind of like one kilometre flat smooth circuit that I can just raz around for a bit because this is going to be one of the last rides I do on the SL8 because it is going back. Not for any negative reasons, I've really enjoyed riding that bike over the last few months. It's a, a serious bit of kit but because we have actually secured a brand new bike sponsor for the year starting in June in Van Rysel. So if you're not aware, Van Rysel are a cycling brand owned by Decathlon. They have recently come into the world of pro cycling and they have just released some serious high spec new bikes that I'm going to be getting my hands on this week or next depending and when the orders arrive at the Van Rysel shop, we're going to go down to their new shop in Surrey Keys in London, collect it, so I cannot wait for that. But also beyond just the bikes that we're going to get, the opportunity with Van Rysel is going to be outstanding because they obviously sponsor that World Tour team, which means we have opportunities to get to world tours to follow them around basically to tour de france etc so it should be a really really good partnership and to be honest i cannot believe we have got something like this just from posting cycling videos so stay tuned for that one but for now i am gonna get out in the pissing rain and go and see what this cycling circuit is about and see if it's even open i've no idea what i'm doing to be honest <laughs> This is sick. One kilometre super smooth loop. A little bit wet because of the rain, but this is good. That was sick. Ended up having a bit of a crit race against some of the juniors that were there learning to ride, so tandem, little noobs. I'll have to come back here as well. I'm going to be trying to do some crit races and stuff later in the year, so brush up on my uh, technique and learn to corner and all that stuff. Yeah, ideal. Back to the gaff now. 
We're going to head over to the Lake District Kendall. We are going to see off a mate who is running a 100k ultra marathon over there, the fucking nutter. And I'm going to spend the day on a 60k gravel route, I think. Done a bit of gravel riding around the Lake District before and it's always splendid, so I'm excited to get up there. Let's go on a bit of a gravel adventure, eh? And one last thing. Oh my God. I've come about 3k. I'm absolutely just pure uphill out of Kendall on the road. And I'm running like minus five PSI in the tires, going nowhere. The route today is pretty nice. We are heading out of Kendall over to Windermere, getting a little ferry across and then scooting up the east side of the Windermere Lake. It's gonna be a slow, long slog of a day, but judging by these trails in the first 5K, it's gonna be fucking fun, so let's have it. <sighs> Don't fancy the nettles here. bollocks about 15k in 10k in and we have ourselves a problem the seat post will not stay in position it keeps coming down and twisting and that and when i tighten it it just doesn't just ain't working not looking good and i find myself in the middle of absolutely nowhere i'm gonna give the components a little clean and just hope that does something because they are pretty disgustingly messy to be fair. The mud in that might be stopping it from tightening properly. It'll tighten and then when it gets to the tightest point, I'll twist it again and it'll just like release, watch. I tie it and then, yeah, it's gone again. See what I mean? Oh shit. Oh well, I think we're gonna have to call it a day here. Such a stinker because it's a beautiful day as well now. Might try riding home with it like that to be fair. Pretty aero I bet. Oh I'm pretty close to quitting cycling at this point. I can't clip in. Seat post is all over the gaff. Just sit down and I just fall down. I'm gonna take up knitting or some shit. At least I got nice carbon wheels though, eh? That's a winner. <laughs> this route oh no how am i gonna get my bike down there what? can i come down that way yeah i'm very lost so i got lost i've got a lead out train lovely lady is there telling me where to go said she'll flash me when i need to go left where are you going to next just trying to get back to Kendall. Oh, well, I put you right for that, you know, problems. You're, you're nearly on the main, uh, okay. you're nearly on the main route now. Right, I'm back on the road, decided to can it. I'm going to head back to Kendall now, find a bike shop if I can, and see if they can help fix the seat post. <laughs> Good man. There we go. Yeah. So if that's what it is. Right, I've just come into the giant shop. Uh, apparently they'll be able to fix it pretty easily, so that'll be good. Pretty nice bike today. If you want to just whip that off. Let me uh still be tight and I think. Is it the seat clamp that's gone or is it? Yeah, the... it's the threads on the inside of that. Uh, that's good. Okay, good 
it doesn't look like we've got the right size, unfortunately. Right, we're back at the car now. We couldn't fix it in the shop. Apparently there's a few issues with it. So I think I think the seat clamp itself is gone. Reds have gone in there. And then also the actual screw that I'm tightening is fractured apparently. And the tighter I try and make it, worse it gets, which makes sense because now, by the time I've got back to the car after trying to tighten it about 100 times, there's just nothing, nowhere. I lock it all, it's just loose, the seat post now. So I'll have to fix this another day. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and grab a brew somewhere because that was a pretty rough ride back with a uh, seat in the wrong position basically you have to be out the saddle all the time otherwise your quads just explode and then we'll go and try and scout down christian who is i don't know it must be about a marathon in at this point now so i'll see where he's up to on the live tracking and then go track him down yes christian come on son how are you going yeah. oh, really broken. how far in are you 75. 75k. Uh, like. You've got an aid station soon, haven't you? Yeah, 79.5. What you what you on? Fucking Harry Bell. <laughs> Anything I can get my hands on. Don't walk. Nah. We'll just keep leaking and stuff. So. How are the poles? Fat. Yeah, look good. He's uh, looking all right, probably not feeling it. We're now going to make our way over to the next rest stop or aid station, whatever you want to call it, and uh, see him there. <laughs> We've got an aid station made. Got electrolytes on the right, water there, rice krispies and that. 53.5. How are your legs? Better now. Really? After the aid station, yeah. What did you have? You having like potato and stuff? No, nothing. <laughs> Final push. Yeah, I've got the headphones on now. Alright, see right. you. Ciao. Good luck. We're back at the gaff. Not the day we wanted, but the day we got. Big failure on my part. Good day for Christian. He completed the 100 kilometers in one piece somehow. We last caught him at the 83 kilometer mark with 17K to go, and he looked pretty strong. It's a fair play to him for that. But yeah, not the video I wanted to do today. Uh, I'll have to get back out and test the carbon wheels properly at some point when I go and fix the bike. I need to order a new component, but I'm gonna post the video anyway because I need to get out of this mindset that every YouTube video I do is some big event like the UTS Snowdonia Trail race or dirty reaver etc because i want to start posting more frequently which will involve posting just standard rides and stuff like that so yeah nice one if you've watched this far i'll catch you in the next one